We're now going to demonstrate how to create plasma biofiller utilizing our plasma biofiller incubation device. You're going to turn on the device and then select a setting for either 70 or 90 degree centigrade. We've preheated the device to 70 degree centigrade for the purpose of today's video. Make sure that whatever size syringe you're using for your sample that you do have a syringe cap on the vial prior to placing it into the plasma incubator. Take your syringe and place it into the appropriately sized plasma incubator hole. We have space for 5 ml, 3 ml, and 1 ml syringes in the device. You're now going to press start on the right hand side screen which controls your heating. This process will run for three minutes. It's going to partially coagulate the plasma by triggering the thrombin cascade. This is going to thicken the plasma, creating a consistency similar to a hyaluronic acid based product like Juvederm. When this process is complete, we're going to move the vial to our cooling area for five minutes, which will stop the thrombin cascade and complete the partial coagulation process. All right. So now that our blood has been processed in the heating process, we now have partially coagulated plasma. You can just get a close up of this, you can see the difference in color. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a white yellowish type color. This lets us know that the plasma has been partially coagulated. We're now going to take the plasma and we're going to move it to the cooling section of the device. This is going to stop the thrombin cascade so the coagulation process will discontinue and the product won't get too thick. We have it set for five minutes of cooling time. And we're gonna press start, and it's gonna cool this sample. It's gonna bring the sample down um, to about 70 degrees, at which time we'll be able to then inject it into the patient for whatever procedure is being performed, such as facial filler. All right, now we're back and our blood plasma sample has had time to cool. Uh, we had it in the cooling area for five minutes. And this simply brings the temperature of the sample down um, to roughly 70 degrees so that we're injecting a product that's uh, slightly below body temperature into the patient as opposed to piping hot after it comes out of the heating element. So come on in for a close up. And we're now going to show you the consistency of the blood plasma from inside this vial. Um, it should now be gel like in nature. And there you go. That is plasma biofiller, nice and gel-like. So we got a perfect consistency from that. You would use this product in a similar fashion as to how you would use other facial fillers uh, like hyaluronic acid-based products such as Juvederm.